Hi everyone, my name is Janice and welcome to Craftastic DIYs. Before we get into the video, I just want to share and take a moment. Um, a company reached out to me called LaFerris and they do backdrops and they do beautiful backdrops actually. And I want to do a product review on their backdrops. So here we go. This is the baby shower one that I thought was very adorable. And um, if you know you have somebody in your family that's doing a baby shower, you could duck it out. And I think these are adorable. They come in a variety of different sizes. Now, I also picked out, I just put them up with tape. You can use anything you want. You can use thumbtacks or anything like that. It's not gonna hurt it. It's vinyl, it's very tough. And um, this is a, a birthday one that the baby's turning one. And um, I ordered, I actually ordered, um, comes with a balloon arch. I haven't put it up yet because I need to go to Dollar Tree and get the balloon pump. Comes with these beautiful leaves that go around the edge of the balloon and uh oh it fell it's okay and um it comes with these balloons and um because i would never be able to uh blow these balloons up i think i would have a heart attack so i have to go get the balloon pump at dollar tree so there you go this is the christmas one and um i think it's very pretty they have a variety of different types they have different sizes if you're into photography or anything like that um, it's definitely a beautiful backdrop or if you want to use it for your crafting It's beautiful. Like if you want to set your table up or anything like that. I will share the website with you. There is a discount um, Let me show you what the website offers. It's very um, They have a large variety of things. So here we go All right, so this is LaFerris's uh, website and as you can see they have a variety of different types of backdrops that you can choose from um, I'm just gonna go through it quickly um, just to give you an idea of what they have. Um, they also have the poles that you can actually set up your uh, backdrops. Um, you can purchase them as well or you can just thumbtack them to your wall, whichever you prefer. Um, they do come in different sizes and um, they have them for basically all kinds of situations like holidays, birthdays, um, things of, you know, anything for any occasion actually. And uh, so I'm just going to go through here real quickly and uh, give you an idea, um, the list of things that they offer. Um, as you can see, there's quite a, a large list. Um, and these are wonderful for parties, holidays, birthdays, reunions. I mean, you name it, they have a backdrop for everything. And um, now... Here's the Christmas ones, and they do have, oh, this Chris, this kitchen one, I thought this was adorable, and actually, I was going to order this one, because, um, like, if you're making Christmas cookies, or you're doing a show, or anything like that, that is so adorable in the background, um, and like I said, they have different sizes, they have small, larger ones, um, and the material is matte vinyl, and um, it's definitely durable. Now, if you're interested, I will put the description um, I will put the information in the description box and the discount 10% off you just type in YouTube and if you're interested definitely just reach out to the website and uh, you can also see that there's a lot of birthday ones and you got a variety you got 60 year old 60th birthday um, just a huge list. It just goes on and on. I mean, it's great. And, and look at the prices are very inexpensive. Also, if you're interested in, uh, um, as far as the wrinkles, getting the wrinkles out, this can definitely be ironed. You iron the back of it and you can get all the creases out. So that's not an issue at all. And here are the, um, uh, balloon arches, um, that I was talking about. This one is so pretty. This is the one I have. And I have to actually get the, you know, the Dollar Tree balloon pump to get it all set up. But look how gorgeous that is. So if you're interested, I will put the information in the description box. And then um, just reach out to them if you, you know, want to order anything. All right, so let's get on with the DIYs, the Christmas DIYs you've been waiting for. All right, for this DIY, I found these cute, adorable cups from Dollar Tree and I got these straws from Hobby Lobby and these little Christmas uh, cotton balls I think they're called from Dollar Tree and I got these from Hobby Lobby and these are from Dollar Tree. 
So I cut a styrofoam ball I got from Dollar Tree in half and I hot glued them to the little plates. So now I'm going to pipe in the um, spackle. It's called lightweight spackle. I got from um, Home Depot because the texture is like whipped cream. It's very creamy. So now I'm just putting on my gloves and I'm going to pipe it into the bakery bag. So I'm going to use this glass and I put the piping bag over it to make it easier for me to scoop out the spackle. So I'm just filling up the bag enough to um, possibly do both of them because they're small little cups. I'm starting outside the rim and just going around slowly and going all the way around until I get to the top and then I just kind of like spiral it around and leave a little tip. So now I'm doing the same thing, piping it around the rim and just spiral all the way around till I get a little tip at the top. All right, so I'm gonna take one of these little straws and cut a little piece and then I'm gonna place it inside on the edge of them on both of them. So now I'm taking some of this, I think it's globe filler or something from Dollar Tree and just gonna apply a little bit on top and take a little bit of this uh, glitter I uh, got from Dollar Tree as well and sprinkle a little bit and uh, make it look really cute. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other one. I'm gonna take some of these little pom-poms I got from Dollar Tree, take the little tiny ones, the little green and red and just uh, place them around. Now I'm taking one of those little tiny gingerbreads that I got from Hobby Lobby and it's just going to place it on the side. Now I'm going to work on the other one. I'm going to take the green um, globe filler and just pour a little bit on top and some of the green uh, glitter as well. So I'm gonna put another uh, gingerbread on the other one. I was gonna use one of those peppermint ones, but they're just a little bit too big for, um, cause the little cups are tiny. Um, so I think this looks cute anyway. So now I'm just grabbing the green little pom-poms and the little tiny ones and just place them around. And I think I just put two little red ones. To give them more of a shine, I'm placing some of the white glitter on top of both of them. So I found this at Dollar Tree, they're a little thicker uh, globe filler, and I'm just gonna sprinkle some green on this one and some red on the other one. So once they dried, I placed them on top of the cups, and this is how they turned out. They came out so cute. Okay, for this DIY, I have this card it came, comes in a box from Dollar Tree and this Dollar Tree canvas and some greenery and uh, berries from Dollar Tree as well. I just took a little piece apart. So I'm just going to cut this card in half and I'm going to place it on the canvas. Very quick and easy. Comes out really cute. Very inexpensive. If you're looking to, you know, decorate your house on a budget. Now I'm just placing some hot glue in the back of the card and then I'm going to apply it to the canvas. Now I'm taking some greenery and I'm going to place a little bit of hot glue and place them down along with the berries. When I seen this at Dollar Tree, I thought this was so cute. The little red truck got like snowy effects around the trees. It's so adorable. Now I got this at Dollar Tree. It's like a wired um, with bells around it. So cute. And I'm going to take a few of the bells off and then I'm going to hot glue like three of them in front of the berries. I'm using this ribbon that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to take the red ribbon and place a little bit of hot glue and place it around the greeting card. That's what it looks like so far. I think it came out really cute. So I'm using the same ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm just taking the three colors and I'm going to take my scissors and curl the ends to make them look twisty and cute. 
So I'm going to place it on the side of the canvas and put a little hot glue and that is it. I think this came out so adorable for under $2. Okay, for this DIY, I took the Dollar Tree Woodhouse, used my Cricut, and came up with the word gingerbread cookies, and I'm using this little gingerbread. I was going to use two, but I don't have enough room, so I'm just going to use one, and I'm going to use this red paint. It's red apple paint by Apple Barrel, and I'm using the truffle uh, brown paint in Waverly. So the first thing I'm going to do is take some painter's tape and I'm going to put it across because uh, I'm going to be using truffle at the bottom and red at the top. Here I'm applying just one quick coat of the truffle paint. I'm also going to be using the truffle paint to paint the sides of the house. Now I'm taking the red paint and I'm going to paint the top half of the house. So I'm going to create um, like an icicle effect. So I'm just taking a hot glue gun and just uh, creating a little bit of um, glue lines going across the top. So now I'm going to use some Mod Podge and I'm just going to apply a little bit to the area where I actually put the hot glue. And then I'm going to take some of the fake snow and apply it. I'm also going to use some of the Mod Podge on the top of it and just put a little bit of fake snow along the edges. I use some glitter at the end too as well and put it to the bottom of the house to make it look more sparkly and cute. Now I've got these cute little bulbs from Walmart. They're, they don't actually work, they're just for decorations and I'm going to take that and I'm going to apply a little bit of hot glue and place them on top. Because they're so spread apart, I just took a couple little bulbs, cut them, and just hot glued them in between. And I think I only end up with like four or five at the top. Dollar Tree has a lot of different uh, type of wood that they have that you can actually use. You can use your Cricut or you can use stickers, but this really came out adorable. Now I'm taking the gingerbread image that I created on my Cricut and I have the transfer tape that I'm going to peel in the back and apply to the little house. I really wanted to add two but I just didn't have enough room on the little house but I think the one looks cute. Now I'm taking the gingerbread wording that I created and I'm applying it right underneath the gingerbread. Look how cute it looks, it's so adorable so far. Now I'm taking the word cookies and I'm gonna apply it right underneath gingerbread. So off camera, I added a little bit of white glitter at the bottom and also two little snowflakes on the side of the gingerbread. And this is how it turned out, it's absolutely adorable. <music> Right. For this DIY, I took this Dollar Tree Bell and this red paint and the white Waverly chalk paint. And I am going to start off by taking some of the painter's tape and I'm going to go across the top and a part of the bottom because in between I'm going to be putting um, material. So I'm going to be starting off by using the red paint, the top part of the bell, and then I'm going to move on to the, the white Waverly chalk paint at the bottom. Now the top part is finished, I'm going to move on to the white and just paint the bottom portion of it. Now I'm taking this really cool uh, material that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to measure and I'm going to place that in the middle of the bell. I think it looks really pretty. So I'm just measuring it so this way I can cut 
a smaller piece and this way um, once I have it on there I can actually guide it and cut it um, to the right dimension. Now I have it to the right size, I'll start taking the Mod Podge and applying it underneath. So now I'm taking the Mod Podge and I don't know why I'm using such a tiny little paintbrush but it's funny. <laughs> but anyways, once I get the Mod Podge totally on the wood piece, I'm going to apply the material to it. I think it's really cute material. I love this color. So now I'm taking the material and I'm just putting it over the area where I Mod Podged it and then I'm going to trim down the edges. So I'm taking my scissors and just cutting around the edges um, of the overhang of the material. Once the Mod Podge dries, I will take a sandpaper and clean the edges. I think it's so adorable. The colors and everything match perfectly. I'm taking this peace sign I got from Dollar Tree and some Mod Podge and some glitter. Um, but I do use some fake snow. I decided to use both. So now I'm taking some Mod Podge and I'm just going to uh, paint it on the peace sign and then I'm going to put some fake snow over the top and then a little bit of the glitter. Now the Mod Podge is on the piece side, I'm just taking some of the little fake snow and just applying it on top. And then I'm going to grab the uh, white uh, glitter and that kind of gives it that nice sparkle shine to it. I decided to do this way because if you paint these uh, metal uh, pieces, they just chip and they don't hold the paint very well. So I figured this would look a lot prettier and, and more Christmassy. So I took a bunch of different ribbons from Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby and I put them together as a messy bow. I took some raffia as well. I took these two little bells that I got from Dollar Tree. It comes in a bag and I hot glue two together. So I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to hot glue the, bow, the bells underneath the messy bow. So I took hot glue and I'm placing down the messy bow on top and it looks so cute. I love how the messy bow looks with it. It's so adorable. So I took apart like a Dollar Tree um, Christmassy uh, greenery and I just took pieces apart and I'm just gonna hot glue it to the top. Some have little pine cones to it and some have like little uh, berries and it looks so cute. Now I'm taking the peace sign and I'm going to take some hot glue and place it down. This is so cute. Look how cute it came out. So Christmassy. I definitely love this DIY. All right, for this DIY, I took this Dollar Tree wine bag and I'm gonna be using the red paint again. And it took these wood that I got from Dollar Tree, those little drawer wood things. So now I'm just gonna cut these apart and then I'm gonna start painting um, the wood pieces first. So I'm taking the red paint and I'm just gonna give it one quick coat. Now they're dry, I'm going to take uh, the pieces that I cut of uh, the little wine bag and I'm going to use this uh, mat that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to place the box on the top and just get an idea of how much I got to cut. This is a great idea to um, use these bags at Dollar Tree if you don't have a Cricut or anything like that. You can really make some cute Christmas decor. Now I'm taking the Mod Podge and I'm just going to lightly coat it and then I'm going to place um, the bag, the pieces of the bag on top. It's not a perfect cut so once the Mod Podge dries I'm just going to go around the edges and take my scissors and cut anything that's overhanging. So I'm going to do the same thing to all three. Just put Mod Podge down and place the little pieces of the bag on top. Now I'm going to be using some white chalk paint and just uh, take my brush, just go around the edges lightly just to 
I don't know, just slightly distress it a little bit because it's just a little bit too bright red. So I'm trying to figure out, do I want to stack them on top of each other? Do I want to put them side by side? So I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I figured out I'm just going to stack them on top of each other uh, with a slight angle. So I cut some uh, green off uh, Dollar Tree uh, Christmas plants and I'm just going to two little pieces and hot glue to the top. So I got this white bird from Dollar Tree. Um, actually, it was two for a dollar. I think it's supposed to be like, what, a partridge bird or something for Christmas. But anyways, I'm putting a little bit of hot glue on top, and I'm going to so place the bird on top. So I took a piece of Dollar Tree Christmas tree uh, filler. They come in a, a bunch. I just cut a little piece, and I'm just uh, hot gluing it to the top. Now I'm between gluing, the bird. Um, a little bit of the hot, hot berry, white berry <laughs> um, on top of the um, Christmas tree filler, just to break it up a little bit. I think it's really adorable. It's quick and easy, very inexpensive. And this is the final results. It was. Okay, for this DIY, I took some of these um, frames from Dollar Tree. And these adorable little deer I got from Target. I'm going to be making Rudolph and Clarice. I got this uh, wine bottle light from Target as well. And I'm going to use Dollar Tree uh, stickers and some of this uh, snow, fake snow. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trace out the frame on the uh, tire cloth that I got from Dollar Tree. Auto, auto cloth, I think it's called. So once I trace it, I'm just going to take my scissors and cut it out. I'm trying to make like a snowy effect for the background um, for the deer, like the movie Rudolph. They're caught in a storm. And I'm just placing down the fabric and bag using a little bit of hot glue. Okay, so that's finished. Now I have a little bit of overhang. I'm just going to take my scissors and trim it. Now I'm taking some of the Dollar Tree winter, um, I don't know what's called, the cloth. Looks like snow. I'm just going to hop inside um, just to make it look like, you know, they're surrounded by nothing but snow. So I cut off some of the excess that was hanging around the edges, and now I'm going to take the little um, bottle, wine bottle lights, and I'm going to place it underneath, and I'm going to hide it with a little bit of the fake snow cloth. So now I'm taking Rudolph, and I'm going to place them inside, and I'm going to grab Clarice and situate them both. I love Rudolph. I love that movie. This is such a cute little um box if you want to call it that so i'm going to place them on top of that little uh, snow mountain that i created in there the lights are actually are underneath it these deer that i got from target they are so adorable they're so realistic looking i mean their their eyes look just like rudolph's and clarice if you look real close so now they're both inside i'm taking the backing of it and i'm going to place some hot glue and I put them together. So I'm placing the other uh, portion of the front of the frame and I'm gonna hot glue that in front as well. I add a little bit of red ribbon around the top, around the sides. I don't know what happened to the footage, but I put a few of the sticker snowflakes inside to make it look like it's snowing inside. Um, so now that it's all together, I think this came out so cute. Look how adorable this came out, guys. And here's the end results. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We
chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me Cake and then. 